In June of 2019, I traveled to a country unknown to most people called Turkmenistan, located in Central Asia. According to Visa Guy, Turkmenistan is one of the hardest countries in the world to get a visa for. I applied months in advance with my tour company in order to get in. This country is known for its autocratic government and large gas reserves. Mur was an ancient city that was a major center of international trade and crafts on the Silk Road. After visiting Merv, we traveled to the city of Mary, where we got on a plane and headed to the capital of Turkmenistan, called Ashgabat. So we just got to our hotel in Ashgabat, Turkmenistan. It's the capital. And I found out before we got here that we're staying at a five-star hotel. Um, it is one of the nicest things I've ever seen. We're staying on the 14th floor. Um, and let me kind of show you my room. So first, the bathroom. You can see nice. Big shower. Look at the way the water comes out, that's weird. And then over here, we have, the second I like put the card in for the electricity, it started playing this like Turkmen music channel. Here's my bed, nice sitting area, and then the view from the room. I kind of wish I was on the other side because you can see like all the white marble and all that. But right here, you can see the mountains that are outside the city. And I'm pretty sure if you cross those mountains, you're in um, Iran. You have the pool, like a basketball slash tennis court. I wish I had time to play, but we're leaving tomorrow. There's some of like the white buildings. Yeah, every building in the city is white. So it's crazy just to see all of the white as you're looking out. And it's completely some of the nicest buildings I've ever seen in my life. Um, it is uh, the world record holder for the city with the most white marble in like a city. The white marble city. For example, the Constitution Monument was open for the anniversary of the 20 years
You can see here where it's like starting to crack. I don't know if you can hear it bubbling on the camera. In 1971, in the Karakum Desert, not far from the Darvaza village, Soviet geologists started to drill at a site where they tapped into a cavern filled with natural gas. During the drilling, an accident happened. Equipment and transport fell down into the cavern. No one was injured, but there was gas coming out of the hole. Fearing that the hole would lead to the release of poisonous gases, the team decided to burn it off. They hoped that the fire would use all the fuel within a few days, but weeks, months, and years passed, and it is still burning to this day. News thing. It's so hot here just because we're in the middle of the desert, but it makes it like 10 times hotter standing beside the gas crater. It's crazy. It's the most unique looking dog. So we're at the crater right now. Um, it's just crazy to think like that this is even here in the first place. Um, there's not a lot of tourists either, which I think is a lot cooler that it's kind of one of the unknown, untraveled two places. Um, but now we're gonna go to sleep and then we have to head back to Uzbekistan early in the morning. Hello from the Darvaza grass. <laughs> 